Entrepreneurs Podcast. We have Ryan Robertson in the house. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? So when the first time I moved to Bali, I started going to Bali MMA, and that's where we met. And Ryan is one of the coolest dudes who holds pads for me. And uh, yeah, we just have this amazing chemistry. Yeah, it's, uh, usually we just slip around and fall on our faces. <laughs> yeah, and we like do today. backflips together as well. <laughs> we do backflips now that you told me how to land one. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Hey. hey. Dad, dad put me in karate and taekwondo. That's where I started. And then uh, I always loved fighting. I, I found a UFC video. And right, I was right. like, I saw that. And I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> I want to do this. So you started when you're 21. How old are you now? 35. It took you a while. Wow, <laughs> you, you've been doing a lot of fighting, dude. And that's it. Oh, that's it. You got him in. That's it. Oh, shit. Snatch your necks, cash and checks. Wow. Get that guillotine in and he had no place to go. No Fuck. place to go, yeah. A lot of people don't enjoy the overall experience. They only enjoy it once they win. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, yes, I won. Oh, it was all worth it. And it was all good and this and that. Because you go through a roller coaster of emotions. Yeah, of course. You know, but I enjoy all of it. Beginning, Before the yeah. MMA came out, there was like there was no, no rules, weapons, no weight categories, just like go crazy on each yeah. other. Yeah. But you could pull their hair, you could punch, them, punch them in the, in the balls. nuts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I remember one guy was in like on the ground and the, they couldn't get out and he, he knew where his dick was. <laughs> and he just, a boof, a boof, a boof, straight in the nuts. Like, I think it was like 10 times. I was like, oh my God. It was like, Right on it. Oh my God, right. this is so funny. <laughs> she's like, I, I didn't know what his dick was, so <laughs> I would win him, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> when you just kind of had your first idea about movie making idea, you want you thought like, I'm gonna do action movies, or there was I, no really. I think I, I, I really am inspired by sci-fi and mm. action and and more of the the theme of making something that isn't real. Right, right, right. right. Real. Right, right. You know, it's how far can I actually push, push it? How far can I? How long can I make it? How big can I make it? Um, and what can we do? And I was like, oh well, I got no actors, I got no money, I got, I got no, I don't have the right equipment. I'm like, okay, so let's do a fundraiser, <laughs> get some money, and then I, obviously, I, I didn't make it even the fundraising amount of money that I wanted, yeah. which still wouldn't have covered it. Um, but then my fiance, Christy jumped in, Anthony and his wife jumped in as actors. But yeah, there was like lots of things sort of we, I try to work around and yeah, yeah. obviously none of them have ever done fight scene yeah. stuff before. So like really trying to sell shots and mm, 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 you know make it look more yeah. realistic really related to gladiator because of martial arts as well mm, mm, you know mm. it was like the fighting the martial arts the competition right right, um, right. except for they were all slaves but yeah yeah <laughs> a little bit and also martial arts in the gladiator i didn't see any roundhouses there there was no round <laughs> there was, there was lots of stabbing and neck cutting and <laughs> maybe a couple of shitty push kicks yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> i would i would love to see russell crowe to get to do a roundhouse <laughs> Oh, spinning, spinning hook spinning kick. Spinning hook kick, yeah. <laughs> I was a bricklayer for like 12 years. and You were a bricklayer? Yeah, That's I used to build so houses. Up. So, like strength, <laughs> I had strength. You should be have your name, the Ryan the Bricklayer. I'm going to lay you like a brick, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Bruno's Podcast.